Otherwise, he has morning. Good morning, everybody. Jesse Cotton wins his sixth YCS title. Um, you know, he's the he's the GOAT at this point. Today, we're going to talk about this, but also the World Championship ban list has been revealed, and there are surprises there that I'm not really sure how to take into account here. So before we begin, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Jesse wins another one. I have to eat my words. I've been saying that the format is not skillful, but when you know a player that is considered the best of the best wins, it means that there is a method to the madness here. We're going to touch on everything here in this event recap, but before that, the Forbidden and Limited list for the 2024 World Championship has been revealed. We have some cards not included here. Um, the whole top part is just cards that have never been released either in the OCG or the TCG. All those old vanilla monsters, these are them. And then cards like Judgment of the Pharaoh, Yujo, things that are TCG exclusives, yada, yada, yada. The interesting part before we get to oh, Sacramento here is that there are no updates beyond what is available right now. If you don't know how this list will work, it basically takes the worst hit out of each and every one of them and combines it, which means that if, for example, Kashtira Fenrir is forbidden in the OCG, it will be forbidden for the tournament even if it's a 3 in the OCG, in the TCG. Now, I was going here, I was looking for Beatrice here, it's not here, so, like, there's no actual changes from, like, this is the current ban list, pre-ban list, rather. So, no changes here. I'm not really sure what that means in terms of our Forbidden and Limited list, if there are any changes, but we'll have to see. YCI Sacramento, um, yeah, no surprise in 19 Fiendsmith Snake Eye in top 32. It's incredible to see, like, Ubel playing and then saying, wow, this deck is just unbeatable. The fact that it is it's kind of crap going second, so this is, like, the duelist who won the die rolls are here. Um, 19 Snake Eye, 7 Ubel. Two ten by two runic, one white forest, and this is runic stun by the way, and one memento making it all the way to the top. Now yeah, Jesse, Jesse wins with Fiendsmith Snake Eye. Had a pretty consistent run in the tournament. Um, I believe won most of his die rolls in Top Cut, which you know playing against you Bell, it is important you do that because just like you know hand traps don't really do anything. And I think that, again, eating my words, I was saying that this format is not skillful, but there is some method to winning this. Um, this event was actually probably, if you had to, like, if you actually have the data on it, probably one of the smallest ever in North America in recent times. Less than 1,000 pl players in a West Coast YCS. Like, this area in the country has 700 people for a regional. So 900 people for YCS, with people coming over from like all around, it's not ideal. And and the reason why is that the format was kind of like known in advance, like you knew exactly what was going to happen and people just do, don't really dig that. In addition to that, Worlds have been like concluded in terms of qualification, Landon here actually qualifying for Worlds, but um, so people already qualified for Worlds, they don't need to qualify again. People don't want to play this format, I suppose. Like, you know, a lot of lacrima, burning for time. Nobody wants to play that. I mean, this is absolute garbage. Not fun. Uh, Eddie here, wasting his game two, just like burning as much time as possible so that game three, he could, you know, just combo for seven minutes and then burn. Um, it doesn't make sense that this card is available in the extra deck. And I think Moon of the Closed Heaven giving this tool to everybody so consistently. Gone. We'll talk about other changes that could be in a ban list that is possibly coming in the next few days. Again, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Like, I don't think that Eddie deserves any hate here. But we've seen a lot of saltiness. And we have seen a lot of players. It's like not even shaking hands when games are over. Uh, yeah, just like... Uh, GG, I guess. Yeah, Lacrima for a game, and it is what it is, and like, you know, shrug. And uh, yeah, just like, yeah, handshake, no, nah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, we have seen, I think, 
Labyrinth a little bit more than I would have expected. Um, doing re well, I think the deck is like designed really well into this format. I, a deck that we haven't seen at all, I believe, not even a single feature match, Branded Espia. Nowhere to be seen, missing MIA. People want Sanctifier Ban. You know, the deck does nothing, guys. Um, again, another moment where, you know, it's going to time. And uh, I'll, I'll moon in you. And please shake the hand of the opponent. This is just like cringe. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, buddy. This was definitely the funniest moment. But people just unwilling to accept this. Um, you have extremely powerful burn effects accessible from the extra deck alongside very long games. That doesn't work together, really. We have seen something very interesting here, which is an FTK. If you wanted to, to know what should be banned on the Forbidden and Limited list, this is me a couple of weeks ago, randomly joining into a game of Master Duel, which I don't normally play, and getting FTK'd, and like being really surprised, like, what is this sort of FTK? Uh, it was so fast, I didn't really realize what happened. But it's fine, because we got to see that on stream. <laughs> we got to see Fiendsmith Ubel utilizing the power of the Fiendsmith engine, and Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, which should definitely never return to Yu-Gi-Oh, right? People, if you comment the transaction rollback as a problem, you will not comment on this YouTube channel ever again. Transaction rollback might be a toxic card, but Beatrice should not be illegal. So yeah, summon three tokens, and then in the graveyard, activate Earthbound Release without the cost of, a, of sacrificing an Earthbound monster, because a level 6 monster was summoned, and then it destroys all of your opponent's monsters and inflicts damage equal to their attack, and then, you know, he had a Druze Worm, so it didn't matter, but the tokens, when they're popped, they inflict an extra 800. It's like 8k, yeah. So, in addition to this degenerate board of Omni Negates, which is just literally the worst thing ever, um, it's also NFTK. So, yeah, GG's well played. Um, Tenpai Dragon is going to be, you know, bothering us a lot in the future. Like, it's not over for Tenpai. It's only the beginning, in my opinion. Tenpai is going to be positioned, like, unless there's, like, a significant hit. Tenpai in the OCG right now, playing with one field spell, one prosperity, and six maxi. So, it really balances out. And I, like... I don't like the fact that this deck has the crutches that it has. A monster is summoned to the field that says you can't activate any effects, like a Mystic Mine from the extra deck is absurd, in my opinion. Um, but that's the game, I suppose. Andre actually making it to the final with Tenpai because it's just the the ultimate counter meta strategy. Like, it's perfect. They designed it so, so well. And, um, yeah. At the end of the day, Jesse does win with Fiendsmith Snake Eye, which is the best deck. 19 spots of, out of top 32 is, you know, can't really argue with that. The deck is at full, full power. Like, this was the probably the last time you will see this deck in this capacity. Because this blog post from Konami yesterday, 915 duelists, an ultimate all-time low, probably, have gathered um, in YCS Sacramento... We saw the prowess of Snake Eye and New Bell as well as Fiendsmith mixing perfectly with a ton of strategies. It could be the last hurrah for these decks before the FNL Forbidden Unlimited list changes things up. So Konami acknowledges that it's coming. Is it coming later today? Is it coming next week? We don't know. World's ban list not reflecting any changes is also uh, confusing to me because it, it means that the ban list that's coming is not going to take effect. Probably just like too close to worlds, I suppose. I'm not really sure. But this event was funny, I think. It was entertaining to watch because like you're watching a dead format and you're watching a lot of salty players not having fun. And I've heard that from people in the venue as well. Just like people are salty because they're losing in, in time a lot. And I think that's horrible. Horrible. But, you know, again... Jesse wins, 
He's the undisputed GOAT. And if Jesse can win, it means that it doesn't require skill because we know he has it. Leave your comments below on your thoughts on this format, the upcoming ban list. Hopefully, I'll see you again today with another ban list video later on when it's released. Fingers crossed. If not, I will definitely see you in the next one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.